Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another video. The first thing I want you to do is smash that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it because it helps me out. Maybe subscribe only if you want to. And leave me a comment about this video. Now, this video is predictions. Predictions, it's March the 2nd, 2023. And a lot of people are wondering at this very moment, where is Foodie Beauty? Because, of course... She hasn't been live for or four days now, uh, coming to five days, and she hadn't, hasn't made a video in six days. So where is she? Some people think she's already in Kuwait or on her way. Maybe she's made it to Kuwait already and is resting because of the jet lag. Some people think she's at her mom's house in Cornwall, Ontario, hanging out and not wanting to be online because of all the backlash. Other people think, hey, she is hotel beezing at the moment, maybe with Natty Daddy, because there's always that conspiracy theory. Or is it a conspiracy theory? But a lot of people think that whenever she is away, it still has something to do with Nader El Shami. Well, 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 all of these are actually pretty reasonable. I can't even say that the whole quote unquote conspiracy theory is unreasonable. Because guess what? Um, we've always seen her go back to him. So I can't really put it out of the way. Even if there's a 1% chance, half a percent chance, I can't fully put it out of the way that she is not doing anything with Nader El Shami. No matter how slim the, the chance is. So what do I think personally? I think she's either in Cornwall, Ontario at her mom's place or she is on her way or planning to be on her way soon to Kuwait. Now, 27 minutes ago, she posted this. Of course, ragging on FFG with comments turned off as usual. She says, lol, all you proved was that you are indeed exploiting BBJ and that she does indeed need to be euthanized. All those health problems at 21. Mm -hmm. I guess the cats was 19, then 20, then 21. She continues, I'm sure I can call my vet and they will advise the same is more humane. But no, you will keep her alive to milk it for views and you also did this to your dogs. Let them suffer unnecessarily and in the end, euthanize them anyway. Anyway, you can all from that community, so who cares, think I'm a cat abuser. I cancelled me and cancel me. I don't care. I said I wanted to bring BBJ to the vet. The day her demented sister-in-law picked her up. But nah, she wouldn't be able to milk it then, right? Imagine poor BBJ seeing this face on the regular. I will no longer entertain this BS and drama outrage. Bye. See you. I'll be back for positive content only. I am gone for a few days and people will try to get me to rage or something or go after my living conditions from the villa when I was going through the worst time of my life. Ridiculous. Go touch grass. It's sad. Grown adults bully others this way online. Milk it for all you got, honey. Because at the end of the day, it's all you have and you know it. No one is watching you review those campers you lust over and don't know you exist. Okay. So she says this always. She says that she's not going to talk about this anymore. The BBJ situation and what does she do? She talks about the BBJ situation. Okay. Anyways, uh, what else do I have to add? Um, she's definitely going to go back to Kuwait or try to. I'm not sure if she'll be stopped. I'm not sure what Ali Shabib is doing or has done or is going to do. That's on him. And whatever consequence Foodie Beauty gets is whatever consequence she gets. I'm not here to interfere with that. But what I will say is, is she going to gain more weight? Because the last time she was in Kuwait... She was telling us she'd be losing weight because of her quote-unquote hubby. But she was actually gaining weight because of her quote-unquote hubby. He was buying her food all the time and she was sitting, having a very sedentary lifestyle, sitting on a couch. First, it was a more hunter green slash brown, like greenish brown. Then it was the blue velvet, just sitting on the couch day after day, night after night and eating. And guess what? She gained weight. So what's going to happen this time? Well, how can we predict the future? Or what's the best predictor of the future, I should say? Well, past and previous experience, right? 
So previous behavior. So if she the last time was in Kuwait, she all she did was sit on the couch having a sedentary lifestyle. We can just say that that's most likely what she's going to do again. And she'll going to gain weight to the point where it's going to be harder and harder for every 5, 10, 15 pounds she gains. It's more difficult for her to walk, to move around, more pain and being less mobile, less range of motion. And that takes a toll on your body. And how is this arc going to end? Is is Sally going to break up with her? Is that it? Is she going to eat herself to death? That is a possibility. People do do that. People eat and eat and eat and eat until they are no more. Until they move on into the next life. So is that Sally's plan? I have no idea. But it's out there. Does he have insurance on her? I have no idea. But he could or he could be planning to. We've seen this many times, multiple times where people put insurance on their spouses and then they are offed or fed to death or have accidents. No, I'm not saying this is going to happen. I'm just saying that it is a reality that people out there do do these things and it would be wiser for us to be aware of the situation rather than being ignorant to it is all I'm saying. So overall... Where is she right now? To be honest, I don't know. I'd have to give a wild guess. Most likely Cornwall. If not, on her way or already in Kuwait. Why isn't she live streaming well? There's multiple factors. The backlash because of the cat abuse. Taking a break because of the move-in situation and whatnot. As well as maybe she doesn't feel like it. She is in the community tab section as you just saw. Half an hour ago or so. Going off on what happened with the whole BBJ situation. Ad nauseum. She's done it before. She's going to keep doing it over and over and over again. Is all I will say. And hey. As I keep saying. Whatever happens happens. I'm just here to react. I'm just here to review things. And um, take from whatever is happening. I will... Just look at it, look at it and give my two cents is what I will do. Um, I do hope that she doesn't do things that are unfavorable, but saying that about Foodie Beauty is like, you know how she's like. Foodie Beauty is going to forever be Foodie Beauty. She doesn't like to take a lot of responsibility for a lot of things. She doesn't like to own up to things. She doesn't like to apologize for things. And that is a type of behavior that doesn't um, bode well for you, especially when you're in certain types of situations, right? So once again, hey, I will be back when she's back. Whatever she's doing, she's doing and I'll be here. So smash that like button. Leave me a like, people. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you want to. Only if you want to. Leave me a comment. What do you think? Is she still in Cornwall? Is she in Ottawa? Is she in Montreal? Is she with Nadi Daddy? Is she with her mom and her sibling and her stepdad? Is she on a plane right now going to Kuwait? Is she already in Kuwait but keeping it on the low low? You tell me. Give me your thoughts. Give me your feelings. I'd like to hear from you. And I'm out. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.